Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing a spoiler review of the sci-fi series called Three Body Problem. If you haven't watched the TV series, make sure you check out my spoiler free review. Okay, so I'm just going to dive in and talk about Augie. I just wanted to get her out the way regarding her character and how she is important to the series. So Augie is one of the Oxford Five and she has her own nanofiber company. She was the only person out of the group who can see the countdown. Now I'm going to be honest, her character got on my nerves, especially with her on and off relationship with Saul. I was like, come on, she needs to get it together. I feel like Augie's mission is to do what is right and for the greater good. She has a conscience when it comes to doing something that she knows is going to be bad. Like when she was on the mission in Panama and the aftermath was very brutal. She turns her pain into drinking. Augie despised Thomas Wade. She cannot stand that man. She do not want to work for him. Even though she had worked for him for the second time due to her best friend Jen. But she told Jen this was the last straw. Especially of what Thomas Wade was proposing. Okay. Augie's relationship with Jen has differences regarding humanity. I felt like Augie has a strong exterior. And she is not the type of person to back down. I hope her character will improve because she was a little annoying. I do enjoy Jen. Will and Jack's character, especially Jack. Jack made the show entertaining. He is very outspoken. He's going to tell it like it is. Even if you don't even like what he got to say, he's just going to make sure that he's going to say it. Okay, so I love the relationship with his best friend, Will. I love when they had that sit down when Will told Jack that he had cancer. And Jack gave him the speech that someone needed to give to Will. Like, do not give up. And you could tell Jack was very hurt. And so I love that bond relationship between them, especially having that serious sit down conversation. Will's story was just sad from beginning to end. His character was not confident. He had feelings for Jen and he refused to tell her until the end of his dying bed. But I do understand Will's point of view regarding him not telling Jen how he felt in the beginning because she has a boyfriend. It would have been nice to know a little bit about his background, especially when Will's sister came to the hospital. She just wanted Will to basically give her what their mother gave to him. And I thought that was very interesting, especially when she said that she had to be a waitress and a foul clerk and so forth. And it seems like she was kind of a little bit jealous of Will, but Will just decided and say, you know what, whatever mother had gave us, I'm just gonna go ahead and give it to you. When Jen and Jack were playing the VR game, I kind of guessed by episode 3 what was the real reason for the game. Jen's character is determined and will not stop until she figures out how to solve it. And she does that throughout the series. I felt like Saul's character was not explored enough. But I do know that he pulls back when it comes to talking about physics because he feels that he misses Wendell as a scientist. In episode 8, we get a little bit more of Saul, but it's not telling me why he has been chosen as a wall facer. Dr. E has been through some stuff and she's the one who initiates the communication with the Shanti and she calls them her Lord. She feels that the Shanti can make the world better because the world she lives in is basically trash. She is another very strong person and the way she told Clarence about her daughter Vera and how she wasn't strong enough, I thought that was very wicked. I also wanted to know what was the relationship between Dr. Yi and Mike Evans. I may have missed it in the series, but I don't think that it didn't explain on what happened to their relationship. We've seen their relationship kind of involved because they had the same interests, but we don't know why they was kind of separated or wasn't together. Not too sure about that one. But I also enjoy Clarence and Thomas Wade's character. They both did an amazing job. Thomas Wade, he was the type of person who would ensure that the job would get done. I do feel he has a soft spot for Jen and I don't mean a romantic relationship. I think he sees her as a fighter and is willing to save humanity. 
I don't think he cares about Roger. <laughs> I'm sorry because Roger Carita wants to impress Wade. And when he tries to open that window in his office, I had to laugh because Roger is saying, well, this must be a task you want me to know if I can open the window. I don't think that was the task that Mr. Wade was asking. He just asked you open the window. I was looking for the staircase project when I saw that the probe blasted out to the space and I was hoping that it would be successful mission. But just like any other series about the project, it just failed. It was good to see CCH Pounder in the series as well. She was in the last episode, episode 8, when she was talking about Saul and when they had that conversation of why he was chosen to be a wall fencer. So I really enjoyed her and I have been a fan of her since the movie Demon Knight. I really enjoyed the entire series. There is not one episode that I didn't like. But if you're going to check out the entire series, please make sure you pay attention to it for you to understand it. Because to me, it is a straight through because if you watch the entire series, you will understand it. Make sure you check out Three Body Problem that is on Netflix. Thank you for watching my channel. Make sure you like and subscribe and until then, see you later.